guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so so much for joining me in another video. Today I am going to show you how to get this look that I'm wearing on my face right now. It is my everyday makeup look for March. Um, basically I do these videos at the end of every single month. I think I started back in November and I show you what products I've been putting on my face throughout the month. It's really my time to share with you the products that I've been loving, um, have a little chit chat with you as well. So yeah, this is what this video is going to be about today. And once the video is finished, please make sure to check out the description box because I've linked the playlist of all my monthly makeup tutorials in there. So I think there's about four or five now. Um, and quickly, before we start, I want to say that to you right now, you watching, 60% of the people watching this video have not subscribed to my channel. So if you're one of those 60, please, please hit the subscribe button. It's just down there. It's free. It takes one second if you're already signed into your account. It means that you're notified when I post new videos. So if you are someone who hasn't subscribed but regularly comes back to the channel to watch me, I would really love to have you on board this um, little corner of the internet that we have going on here. Um, if you're someone who's just clicked on the video, then then hi, my name is Kirsten, I post videos once to twice a week, um, but definitely every Sunday. I would really appreciate it if you subscribed because I know that you will love the channel if you love makeup and anything beauty related. And to all my subscribers out there, I would like to ask you if you could all share this video with your family and friends, post it on your Facebook, post it on your Instagram, just get it out there. There is a giveaway coming at 3,000 subscribers as well. So let's get started with the makeup. I've already prepped and primed my eyelids which is why they look crazy like this. Today we are going to be using this gorgeous palette from Lovable Lashes. If you haven't heard of Lovable Lashes, where have you been? They have gorgeous palettes. This is the Caribbean Spices palette that I've got. Mine's is a little bit beaten up. But they also do two other palettes and they have eyelashes as well. So I'll leave the uh, website down below in the description box if you would like to go and shop on their site. Let's go in with this shade here. This is an orange matte shade. And the one thing that I don't particularly like about the palette is that there's not a really light transition shade. Like this is a good shade, the orange, but really the only one that I can ever put in my crease because all the other ones are a little bit too dark for my skin tone. So I guess this would be really good for you if you have darker skin tones. But for me, and I don't have the lightest of light either, like I've got quite of a yellowy olive undertone to my skin. I'm now going to darken it up using this shade here. This is just like a nice matte brown. And I'm not going to take that as high. So the orange shade, I pulled it through my crease and above. And um, that's mainly because I've got hooded lids. But this one, I'm just going to keep it really nice and tight in the crease. And then fade the colour up once I get less pigment on my brush. These shades are super, super pigmented. So make sure that you're tapping off the excess because it's better to apply too little and have to build it up then apply too much. On a smaller fluffy brush, this one is from the Naked palette. I'm going to take this gorgeous maroon shade here and this is just to bring some purple into the look because that is the main focus of the eye look today. Um, I always feel like on my everyday looks I use purpley tones or like a bronzy orange tones and that is purely because that is what I gravitate to on a day to day basis. Because I have green eyes, this works the best for me. It makes them pop more. So if I can combine purple and orange, then that is just perfect for me. So I'm sorry if that annoys you, um, but I do do like other makeup tutorials with other looks. So hopefully you'll find kind of like a happy medium here if you're interested in the makeup tutorial side of my channel. So I'm just working that into the crease and keeping it nice and tight in the crease, not pulling that colour up. I'm then going to take the same colour and just work it on the outer V of the eye just to darken it up a little bit. And talking about makeup tutorials actually leads me on to the next thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about. So recently I have been doing a lot of kind of like reviews or swatch videos, dupes, things like that. But I do want to get back to doing tutorials on my channel because in all the kind of hauls and things that I've been showing you or swatch videos a lot of you have been requesting certain videos on eyeshadow palettes that I've um, been showing you so I really want to make sure that I am giving you guys what you want and I do miss doing makeup tutorials although I still do them like I always do my monthly makeup like what I'm using I do really miss just sitting down and playing with makeup so I am definitely going to be doing more makeup tutorials probably for all of like April it's going to be makeup tutorials 
videos and my makeup declutter series starting again so I'm so excited for that definitely let me know if you're excited for those kind of videos to be coming more frequently on my channel I am now going to be taking this shade here which is just a really nice champagne pink shade and I'm going to pop that all over the eyelid So that is basically the eyeshadow on the top of the eyes done. I'm now going to use my Soap and Glory Super Cut Eyeliner to do a little flip. I really shouldn't be talking whilst I'm doing this because I'm bad enough doing eyeliner on camera as it is. So I'm going to go away, apply my eyeliner and also apply my mascara because you guys have seen me apply this a bunch of times before. It's the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. It's my favourite one, the waterproof formula. I'm going to apply these two off camera and I'm going to be right back. Okay, so my eyes are done for now. We're going to come back to those in a little bit. And now for foundation. So I have not been using the same foundation this month. I've actually been drawn towards my Kiko Milano Soft Focus Foundation. This is a mineral powder. And if you are a subby who's been here for a long time, maybe since November last year, around about that time, you know that I used to use this village. Actually, was it before that? Maybe even before November last year. I can't really remember. But I used to use this religiously and I would use nothing else. It comes in this little tub and it's got the holes, like the little sifter. It comes on a brush here that you could apply it with. But I like to apply it with my flat top brush. It's got a little bit of an angle which is good for getting into the kind of crevices of your face. So yeah, I just kind of tap a little bit out. And then I just buff this into the skin. So you may have noticed that my neck is slightly more yellow toned than my face. <laughs> That is because I have fake tan on and it always comes off my face first I'm, and my body always stays a little bit more tanned. So I'm just matching this to my neck. This one is in the shade number 3 of, if any of you are wondering for reference. Now I always just avoid the area around my eyes so I take it about to here on both sides, leave the area around my eyes for concealer because I feel like when you put liquid on top of powder, you have a very, very strong chance of having a cakey finish. And I tend to put a really light coverage here because I like to apply a little bit of concealer here as well. So I just apply the most product around about the edges here. Oh, it's annoying when you've got your hair down. <laughs> round about here and then any excess a brush onto the centre of the forehead. Now I currently have really bad hay fever which means my nose has been running a lot so my nose is quite dry round about this area so if you see any flakes it's not bogies it's just flaky skin which I know is disgusting but no matter how much you moisturise even when you have a cold you will definitely have a dry nose. For concealer, I've still been loving my Freedom Pro HD Longwear Concealer. This one is in the shade Porcelain. And yeah, I really, really like this. It's in a squeezy tube, which makes applying it really easy. So I just pop it underneath my eyes. So that area that we never applied any foundation. And apply a little bit on my forehead as well, just to bring some light into the centre of my face. And then on the chin. I would normally apply this on my nose as well, but because it is so dry, I'm just going to skip it. And then as normal, I'm just using my Real Technique sponge to blend this concealer out. To set my under eyes, I've been using the Revolution Powder. Now this is the pressed powder in the shade Translucent. All I do is rub my Real Technique sponge in the powder so I get quite a lot on the sponge and then I just press it underneath my eyes. It's sort of like baking but you're not using a loose powder. Um, to be honest, it's really nothing like baking. But I just take a really nice healthy amount of powder and just really push and press that into the concealer so that it sets it nicely and there's no creases. I'm also going to take that on my chin and on my forehead. Now to finish off the eyes, I'm going to do the lower lash line. And the first shade I'm going to take is this orange colour here. This is the one that we used initially in our crease. I'm just taking that on quite a fluffy brush and I'm going to run it underneath just to warm up the lower lash line first. Then 
what I've really been enjoying doing the, this past month is tight lining. I've not actually tight lined in ages and then recently, only a couple of days ago, I actually done my waterline and I've not done that for years. Like I'm talking back to my high school years. Um, it took me back but I actually really liked the way it looked. So I'm going to do that today and what I'm using is the Urban Decay 24-7 eyeliner in the shade Perversion. Now my eyes look like the size of little tiny peas because black always makes your eyes look a little bit smaller but I really like it when I kind of like smoke out the lower lash line which is what we're going to do now. So we're going to use this gorgeous purpley glittery plummy shade. So I'm just taking this on a pencil brush and I'm just going to apply that over the orange to just really smoke out the lower lash line. And once I've done that, I'm just going to go over it with this purpley shade here, which is a little bit lighter, but this will just bring more of the purple hues into the eye, which will really make green and blue eyes pop. I just like to put the darker colour down as a base first because this purple that we're using now, it isn't as smoky as I would like for the lower lash line. I'm now just going to apply a little, oh, if I could get it open, quick coat of mascara. This is just the same one that I used on my top lashes, which is the Maybelline, what is this called again? Lash Sensational. You'd think I'd know that by now because I use it all the time. Oh no! Oh, saved it. So I just applied my eyebrows off camera um, and now we're going to go and do the bronzer. So I'm going to bring a little bit of colour back to my face using the original Beauty Glow. I've had this bronzer for, I can't even remember, I'm going to say about three to four years now and it has got like hardly any dent in it at all. It is absolutely amazing, it gives such a beautiful glow on your face. So I'm just going to bronze up the circumference of my face. This is really great as well if you fake tan and say you miss a little bit of your hand or if your one leg looks a little bit lighter than the other one. This is so great to use just to like bronze yourself up again because it's such a universal colour and it's really natural as well. It gives you a really natural glow as well as darkening your skin obviously. Um, I used this when I went to the Makeup Revolution party because my legs never take a tan as well as the rest of my body. So the other, rest of my body looked more tanned than my legs. Um, so I just used this. Definitely let me know if you've seen my Makeup Revolution vlog. <laughs> And if you enjoyed it, I had such an amazing time. I was so, so grateful to be there and to be asked to go. And my eyeliner is so uneven. Guys, my eyeliner's been uneven this whole time and you didn't even tell me. Okay, it's fine. We're rolling with it. I'm not redoing it. Get out out there. And guys, if you wear eyeliner, you will know the struggles of getting it even. Especially if you have different shaped eyes like me like I've got hooded eyes but one of them is more hooded than the other one so it's a struggle but we're just going to go with it. I'm just going to take my Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder. I probably don't even need to tell you guys that anymore because you all know that I love it and use it to death. Going back to Makeup Revolution I was so so grateful to have been asked to go. It was such an amazing night. It was so much fun to like see all the performances and hear um, Adam speaking about the line and the products and what's to come and seeing like little sneak peeks of what's to come as well. So if you've not checked out that vlog, I'll leave it linked down in the description box below if you do want to check it out. It was really, really fun. To clean up under my contour, I'm going to go back into the powder that we used from Makeup Revolution and my beauty blender, if I can find it. Here it is. I just tend to chuck everything away after I'm finished using it. Oh, that's not a beauty blender. It's a Real Techniques sponge. So I'm just going to clean that up. I just do it lightly because I don't want it to dramatically change the colour of my skin down here because it will look a different colour from my neck. But I just do it lightly just to give myself a little bit of a sharper contour line. So now for highlight, the mirror that I'm using is this bad boy here. It's the Makeup Revolution Skin Kiss Highlighter in the shade Ice Kiss. Oh my god. I have been living for this highlighter, even on my no makeup makeup days, when I have shoved on eyebrows and a bit of mascara, I am still shiving on this highlighter. 
I tried the other day to use a highlighter from a different palette and I hated myself the whole day because I didn't glow as nicely as I glow with this. So if you haven't picked this up yet, you, oh. if you haven't picked this up yet, I would definitely suggest you do it. I'm not sure if it is in stock because it has been really, really popular, but definitely keep an eye out because it is so, so beautiful. So I'm just applying that on my cheekbones and on my nose as well to bring that a little bit of light and on my cupid's bow. I'm also going to take a little cotton bud and just dab a little bit into the inner corners of my eyes. I'm taking a cotton bud because I can't be bothered to go and get a little brush. But you could just use your finger or a little brush as well, you don't have to use a cotton bud for this. And then I'm going to take some just underneath the brown bone as well. And I promise you guys this month, so as in April because oh my god we're almost in April, um, I'm definitely going to be doing um eyebrow routine for you because I know a lot of you guys have been requesting that so that is definitely coming. Okay so highlighter is done, I'm glowing from the moon and I'm now going to use blusher, this is also Makeup Revolution, this is a beautiful brownie pink um, blusher, that probably made no sense but it is in the shade nude and it's matte. I do like a matte blusher because it just means that the glow you get is from your highlighter and not like all over your cheek. I find when I've got a little bit of bigger pores on my cheek it's really not flattering on me to use a um, sparkly blush. So I'm just going to apply this. I just apply most of it on the cheeks and then pull it back. Just need to try and fix this eyeliner because it's so not even to do. Is that better? Nope. No, I'm not fixing it. <laughs> also guys, can we talk about the fact that this channel is nearly at 3,000 subscribers? Like that is amazing. Thank you so so much to everybody who has subscribed. If you've not subscribed, please head down below and do it now. I would so appreciate you coming along, joining this little corner of YouTube. All my usual people that love to comment on my videos and that I appreciate for supporting me. They are a very, very positive and happy community and we like to share things here. And yeah, if you feel like you'd be a good fit, hit the little button down there um, and join the family. Okay, so lastly for lips, I have been using a nude lippy. This is the K line for Rimmel and it is in the shade 56 Boho Nude. And that's exactly what it says on the tin. It is just a nude. I think it is a beautiful lippy and it's really affordable too. So you can't really go wrong with a nude lip. I'm just gonna scoosh my face with the Smashbox Primer Water. And then I just fan. See, this highlighter comes in handy as a fan as well as a highlighter and a mirror. Really, it's got so many uses, guys. You need to get it. So I really hope you enjoyed the video, if you did please give it a big thumbs up, it really makes me happy to see you guys thumbsing up the video, it makes me know that you definitely love them. Um, also check out the videos that I've mentioned throughout this video down below in the description box along with the playlist of all my monthly makeup videos that I've done, I think I've done about 5 now, this is maybe the 5th one or the 4th one, um, so yeah check those out down below as well and subscribe if you haven't already, remember that there is a giveaway coming when I hit 3,000 subscribers of some of the Makeup Revolution goodies that I got from the party. So if you're into that, then definitely hit the subscribe button and join this little community. Um, yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. Come follow me on my social media. They're all linked down below if you fancy getting more of me before Sunday. Um, but either way, if you stay tuned, I will definitely see you on Sunday with another video. Bye!